today I'm going to show you how I do my National Geographic cutouts, the collages. I pre-selected a couple images from the Bowl of Knowledge. I use only uh, things from the National Geographic, nothing else, never do any other magazine, just National Geographic. All the ads, all the writings, all the pictures, whatever I want to choose, but only from a National Geographic. So today's National Geographic is uh, June of 1948. It's an old one. I have mostly the entire collection. I grew up with the entire collection. My dad had me looking at these images, I don't know, since I was about three or four years old. This where my, I get, I got most of my education from the National Geographic. Uh, probably the best, I, I think it's the best magazine that's really ever been out there. Uh, you know, there's nice ones like Vogue and things like that, but uh, I've always appreciated the National Geographic. So here's the picture that I selected. It's kind of like a, a you know, religious type theme. And then I picked out two uh, quotes, kind of like just writings. And then that's going to go like right down in there. And then this one. The next ride to the moon. That's going to go up in there. So I'll set these aside. Now I've looked through this entire magazine and I'm happy. Uh, the, the pictures, as you can see, are, you know, they're not like high quality. But I guess that's kind of cool. So I chose this picture because I like the kids down in the bottom. I'll cut all those out and you'll see me do that, how I do it with an X-Acto knife. And I'll show you how I uh, actually take a, uh, a Sharpie. Sharpie makes a gel pen. Sharpie makes a gel pen and I really like these a lot. Uh, it's one of my favorites. So what I do is I do the cutout and then for some weird reason I got this like black rubber paper material from a gift bag and when I cut when I do the cutouts there's a tiny tiny white edge on them so what I do is I take the sharpie and I just edge out the uh, image so that it do, so it gets rid of the white mark so that's how I do that um, now don't forget, these are all like trademark secrets. Not too many people know how to do this stuff. But the end result, people think that I actually do, so I'm gonna cut this page out, you can see that. Um, you just cut right along the border. You can't have any creases. Okay, so that's set. Then I don't need this magazine anymore. So I'm gonna cut these guys out and uh, I think I'm just going to do uh, these kids right in here, These, just these kids. And so I just take my time, a very sharp blade, and apply a little pressure. I'm using a mat and an X-Acto knife. Just standard X-Acto knife. You go right along the edge without cutting into the image and without leaving uh, an edge otherwise. So right now I'm just cutting it out. If you have to, you have to stop and see what's happening as to what is actually, what actually needs to be cut out and what doesn't. You just take your time. As you can see, it can go pretty quick. This is a simple one. I have done images that took, I don't know, six hours to cut out because they are so intricate. Uh, like insects and things like that. But this one will be fairly quick. And then when I'm done, I use spray mount, which is like a glue. You lay down newspaper on the floor, a lot of newspaper, and then you just gently spray 
into the uh, image and it's better than any other kind of glue. It, you, you don't do a lot, you, do, you don't need much. You just use a little bit. But you can see I'm almost done. And then, of course, the next step after this is edging it with the black Sharpie pen. So I'm going to go to this other group. And, you know, when you're doing your collages, uh, just have fun with it. You know, you don't have to do exactly, you, know, you could. You don't have to do it exactly like I do it. I'm just showing you how I do it. Because a lot of people, like I said, they think I Photoshop this stuff, but it's actually hand cut with an X-Acto knife. Very meticulous. Uh, you, you, you never want to rush it. I've probably done close to 500, maybe 600 cutouts between last year and this year. Now, I'll just show you the feature ones that I did. See this one. That's their foot. Sometimes it's hard to see what's going on in the picture. Just gotta take your time. Trying not to cut off legs or anything. Let's go around. Now these older pictures from National Geographic, uh, the, the, the paper is a lot thicker. So it's a little bit harder to cut out compared to the newer ones. The newer ones uh, pretty much have like a higher resolution and they're much more colorful. But I do like mixing up the older ones. Like this one is what, June 1948. That's a long time ago for some people. It's a long time ago for me. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's amazing what you can do with just some old magazines. And they, each one tells a little story. I usually don't figure it out until after a while. Because, first of all, when I'm creating the art, I kind of like to let it just happen. Okay, no. Okay, so that's done. So you don't force it. There might be areas where I didn't cut. Right there is that good. You test it. You don't force it because if you force it, you'll tear it. take it out okay so that's the image so that that's the the hole uh, I'm gonna set that aside so you can see it's a pretty nice clean cutout but you could just barely see the edges so what I do is I take the sharpie and I just go around the edges with this with this uh, black rubber it's like a rubber material but it's black so when you when you lay the image down on the black you can definitely see where the edges are okay now one thing you do is you don't want a sharpie lying around that you get that thing fall on the floor and it gets right into your foot so I have uh, just a cork stopper like like that that I keep it in and then you can just set this aside because you're not going to need it anymore and all you're doing is you're just going right around the edges. Just to, to you, you don't go into the image. You just take the ballpoint pen and go right on the edge. And then you just do like about two inches like that. And then you rub it. And you can see that it's just, you can see that white line. 
right there, and you can see how the Sharpie is getting rid of that fine white line, the edge. So you just go right along the edge of it. And this is one of my trademark secrets to getting like a 3D effect. Um, and you, know, you just take your time, take your time, there's no hurry. If you're in a hurry and you're doing art, you're wasting your time. So this is going to go like, kind of like, right in here. And then I'll cut that off. And then this will go to right here. And then this will go up here. So I'm going to spray these. It just takes a second. Um, just takes a second. And I'll be right back. You'll hear the spray. first thing get the exacto knife out I like this side of the mat just cut that all off no pressure that's off. I'll throw this away. Then I have the other two images to put on the words. Okay, so here's the words. Let me get this guy up. I try to do everything as straight as possible all my cuts. If I'm gonna go into a corner like this, I try to get it nice and even. Once it's down, you have about 20 seconds to remove it. Well, this guy, I'm gonna stick way in the corner. You just take your time. And there you have the product. That's the finished image. You could add other stuff to this, like maybe something up in the corner. I'm just going to go with this. I just wanted to show you how I do it. Uh, thanks a lot. Peace, everybody. Love you.